And we are live. <sighs> Unfortunately, as y'all know, I ain't got enough money to buy my sequins, so the Rick Deep Bullshit Podcast. Did you lose is, your sequins in a lawsuit? Yeah. So why would you buy yourself sequins? You're banned from having them. I ain't got money because recently I checked my bank account and yeah, someone that. That's crazy. Andy, took my money. Andy froze your egg. Hey, I told you last week this was, this is on me, Johnny. Get yourself something nice. Look at this, guys. Hundred dollar bill. Hundred dollar bill. I'm giving it to Johnny. I don't want anything that Andy has touched. Hold on, I gotta fix it. But you're sitting in the seat Andy's ass has been in. Well, you know, Andy's not here, and Andy should know. He forgot that. Well, actually, I couldn't even get in this morning because somehow the keys have been changed. And the combination to the lock outside, I couldn't even put that in because even that's been changed. But this guy right here comes watching on in, and he's got the key to the kingdom. Hey, like I'm saying, we got some beef going on. I, look, I tried to fix things. We set things up. It's what's going to happen. June 5th, you two are going to have a match. There's a date. You get your stuff. John, how's it, how's it going to feel when uh, Andy lays you down for that three count? Andy's 50 years old. You know how old I am? Nothing. He's for, he, just because you're 50 don't mean nothing. He can't even take a bump because he's been scared to fall. Well, so since uh, John here has been revoked, uh, now he's just John. Guess I'll do the introduction of the show. Welcome, everybody that's tuning in to the Nice Guy Andy podcast. We got Sean Johns, the encyclopedia, the man with the knowledge. What's up, everybody? That's my phone. Let me turn that We on. have John. <laughs> and then we have myself, the four-time undisputed reigning Champion of Lexington, Kentucky, the greatest of all time, B Money. What up, of B course Money? you would say that. Hey, of course you would say Money. that. Everyone are going to grab me. Oh. Shut up, John. There was a time when you and me, I thought we were cool because too sweet, and, and you super kicked me last week. <sighs> Does your jaw still hurt? Of course it hurts. I thought you would get over it, but... You know. Hey, he had tried to go to the dentist today to get his jaw fixed, and the dentist wouldn't even take his insurance. Yeah. yeah. I'm, That's crazy, man. I've lost my money. I've lost my look. I've lost it all. I've even lost the right to even use my real first name. That's what happens when you go against the man, the God, the real podcast God, Andy. Look, if Andy's so big and bad, why ain't he here? Andy's doing business stuff right now. Well, you want to know the truth. So here's what happened. Me and Andy went out last night, just going, just club bouncing, right? Okay. And we, you know, had had Using a couple Johnny's drinks. Money, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, had a couple drinks, and we was spending big bills, hundred dollar bills, just throwing them away, pretty much. And somehow we got back to a hotel room. There was I, all I remember is there was a lot of midgets, and uh, after that, I can't remember. I made it out. Don't know where Andy went. Mm. A likely story that you took my money and bought some midgets and you hung out with Andy. And Are y'all you upset that you didn't it? get to join in? Of course I'm upset about it because that was my ideal. I didn't get to join in either. Shut Hi, up. Caitlin. But you can also talk to the other guys too, not just me. Sean, I got some questions for you. I got some answers for you, bud. All right, so you've been out of the podcast for a couple weeks now. Haven't seen you. Uh, and you haven't been here since, you know, me and John, Andy and John. I just want to know where you're at with all this stuff and whose side are you on? First off, yeah, I haven't been here. There was one time I came in for the show and... I thought we were going good. As soon as I get here, Andy's like, Sean, I don't need you tonight. I need you to leave. Just go. You're fine. No trouble. 
I was like, oh, sure. Just, you were here. Yeah, you went to go and, take pictures of midgets. Well, I was, that was the goal, but something happened. I don't know what happened. Andy told me to leave. I left. Then last week, I was not feeling well, and that's when you two got into it, which I thought you two were thick as thieves. I don't know what's going on. That's what I thought. But where my allegiance lies in all this is I can't pick sides. Andy's been my friend for the longest time. However, John, I can't call you. I can't call you that. John's my cousin. John, wait, what? I did not know this. You didn't know we were cousins? No, not at all. Wow. Yeah. Cool. Man. I can't. So you know, I got the family ties to Johnny. Family or to John? Your friend you've known for no maybe twenty plus years. No, he's my yeah. He's like your daddy. I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. (laughs) Let's check it out. Mm John, well, you're, John, you're slacking. DJ Eric, I'll I'll right. don't make me call Andy. I slacked Re- because read, I- read the comments. You touch me, you're hey, out of hey, here hey, forever. No, I, no, no it doesn't no, happen. Hey, hey, stop I, it. You want to know whose side I'm on? I'm on my own side. I'm not picking sides. It's the king of toilets, John John. I heard <laughs> what the jerk off said. DJ Eric, stop stirring the pot. Now. Man, this we can block you from the pod. Don't tempt us, buddy. This has turned into a real hostile podcast, and uh, man, it could get rowdy tonight. If you know, John DJ decides, Eric said, John, offer Andy a big old steak dinner with. Uh, he can't afford a big steak dinner for. Andy. You not know, see what happened to my money? Easy, it got token. I can't even access my account. He's blocked name. from his email. John, I, I I just want to know what you did that provoked Andy into the point where he had to throw you into a van. Like, where? Why did you make him so mad? This, I didn't make him mad. You he made him mad. He go shave my way, and then when my I turned around just to check out the van, he grabs me, throws me into, it and tries saying that I let someone in to attack Icon Lee. Apparently, he's so so all about Icon Lee. <laughs> His head's up his own but ass. To be fair, you you do have a history of letting people in to attack people but or to cover. Was... Th- it don't matter how long ago it was. You still did it. Do you know what could have happened? So there I is mean, some truth to what Andy's saying. The set you don't have to like destroyed. it, but it's the truth. What? The set could have got destroyed. Two people fighting in here, and you're just letting these people fight in the studio? Andy I was here. Did you not see him get up? And me grab his phone to watch this stuff happen when he could have stopped it himself. I didn't see it. I saw. Sean, did you see it? I wasn't here that night. I watched the back to push. He said, "Guys, I got, I got to go," and you could clearly see him get up and grab a phone. See, I don't know about He's that. He's got a video it for the insurance purposes. I, Andy he told me about that. Andy is such is just such a great guy, and I can't Maverick, see him doing that. Enough, guys. What's up, Maverick? Are they bullying you on here, Sean? No, no, no. <laughs> Maverick just said, hey, I ain't dealing with him. That's all Andy knows how to do is act nice for y'all. And y'all but hold on. You bully me, too. So does Andy. You both bully me. When I try to say something, you both cut me off a lot of times. Yes. Yeah, I'm surprised true. you're letting me talk now, Sean. Shut up. Don't, don't push it. That's not true at all. We let you talk all the time. I also got to know, why are you sitting in the boss's seat? That's CEO's seat. You know why? Because someone's got to do a job that the boss can't do. That, that's right. And he taught me. I don't know why he had to turn his back on me, but he's the one that taught me how to do all this. Sort of forgot, but earlier I gave John an extra $100. He took it and accepted it. And now he is Acting running too, our too meeting. proud to take what he's got in. What do we got on the TV here? We got some OVW. We Hollywood got the Haley women's J. action. We got Hollywood Haley J and is that Lay Layla Gray. I don't know who the other one is. Well, one of them is Layla Gray. That's who I just asked. How long are their shows usually? Two hours. Two hours. Yeah, they're two hours. And they do overdrives taping at the same time. 
Sean, I, I know you said earlier that uh, you were not on anybody's side, but I'm do not you sides. do you have uh, maybe a favorite in the match that you think is going to win? I've always been of the let you boys fight it out your, amongst yourselves. Yeah, you ain't got no dogs in this fight. I ain't got no dog in that fight. I the other night when we were in Jackson doing contracted podcast business it took everything I can not to like physically get between them because I thought it was going to but cooler heads did prevail thank you Robert you the man Robert Maverick we don't need you starting drama here we don't need it I don't know who Maverick is, but yeah. Mike Mike Maverick. He said, I saw it frame by frame. John did it. We don't need you getting in the middle of this, man. Moral. This could get, I Robert mean, this Moral. could get this Roberts, could get dangerous. Yeah, we're not fighting. We're not doing anything, but Andy's kind of getting too big for his britches, and I've tried to warn him. Look, Johnny's like a caged. John's like a caged animal. Don't get in on him. You. He's. Taming down, but if you get him going too bad, you will not like it when you get in on his bad side. I've, I've seen it happen. You know, I just noticed something. Oh man, you know who gave this to me? I give you, I give you three guesses on who gave who gave this to me. Andy, I get. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Clap it up for John. I might be able to. Get you another hundred, or maybe I don't know. Get you a new, get you a new shirt. Uh, but I'll have to see. I've talked to the boss. I don't accept Andy's dirty money. You can't say Andy no more. You got to say boss. Who said? Andy. He's the boss. He's the boss man around here. CEO. I don't accept the boss's dirty money. Well, God, I know where it's been. Where's it been? Up his ass. <laughs> oh. And I, I, st- I stuck that $100 bill right in your face when I super kicked you. Also, Sean Johns, how amazing was that super kick, and how perfect was it on just Johnny's jaw? Just straight flush. He was, I mean, he was out cold. Uh. Listen. That's because you backstabbed me. We were the Sex Pistols, and you, for all that money, decided I'm going to plant my foot into his face. Johnny, I'm truly sorry, and I just want to... Just one more. Just one more. Come on. Come on. Come on. (laughs) Oh, hey, hey, hey. Come on now. That ain't right. Andy, I hope you're watching. I hope you are very proud of me. Proud of you. Uh, you talk you talk you talk like like the boss is part of your family, like he's your dad. And we all know that your dad is bare. Andy is taking me in like a son and just he's treating me so well. Hmm. He's he got me a brand new gold chain. He got me He got me this hat and like dude I I can't wear it on the podcast because I got the headphones on but I mean look at this custom made custom tailored to fit my little head Andy did this John when we was together I never got anything like this I never got a gold chain I never got thousands of dollars that's because I was the man in the sinkling and you were the cowboy I don't cut it, John. I don't cut it around here. So you're saying you that mean you're the only one. You got the trademark on sequins. And nobody else can have to see sequins. So, I was the sequin man. So here's what John's saying. He was the bigger star, and he didn't. He he wanted to keep me down. That's not true. And at all. Andy has just pushed me through the roof. He Andy put wings on my. Has back. Andy been telling you all this? No. You sure about that? You're not to sure. call him Andy. You're supposed to call him boss. Yeah, boss. 
remember that. The boss can kiss my ass. Yeah, I'm honestly. John Gilbert, what's up? What's up, Big John? Sean, are you the man? Are you are the man? <laughs> Where's Andy? Thank you, Big John. Hey, usually you're building up John here. What's up with that, Big Gilbert? You know what? I ain't complaining. We also He's have it me copyrighted up. that uh, you can't uh, say Johnny Lee on the podcast, and uh, so that's that's like one of the words that WWE bans. Yeah. Well, I accidentally said it, but I have permission from the boss. And what else is not supposed to be said about me? Um, you know, you can't wear your hat, your your old jacket, what my jacket now. Looks a lot better on me, but uh yeah, I mean, your whole your whole persona you has been taken by Andy. Shut your mouth, Big John Gilbert. I'm not a bitch. Hey. Big John. You are just a sorry worker that's working this computer. That's what I paid you for. To me and Andy paid you. I paid you with Andy's money. I accept that money. And so for you to curse at one of our viewers. Esteemless guest. He's been here several times. Are you still mad because he dumped your head in the toilet? Do I got to get Andy on the phone? Don't don't make me go there. I will get Andy on the phone. You can get the boss on the phone all you want. But just so you know, we used to be tight. We used to be two sweeters. And now... You know what? That was that was so long ago. I honestly don't remember it. I, look, I just, all right, all right. I, really just don't. Like remember I said, it. June fifth, Salina, Tennessee, Salina, Tennessee. However, it's pronounced Clay County Fairgrounds. Johnny against Andy, promoted by Terry England, the man, the myth, the legend. If you don't believe me, just ask him. Johnny, I just want to know your thoughts on the match. Oh, John Gilbert setting you with. Hey, uh, John Gilbert, Big 747. Uh, John ain't got money to pay. So if you try to sue him, you're not going to get much. John, we used to be so tight. And now you're on Andy's side. John, you are the man, and I'm glad you're part of the team, brother. Yeah. I used to have money, you know. Andy's money. That you said was his ass money. You you didn't have money. Andy had the money. Right, nice. I used to have a hat too. I used to have wear that singling. I used to have that. But what is that? The championship they each said they <laughs> awarded to me, but I don't know. That's also been trademarked. Uh, what's that say on it? <laughs> John Gilbert, I knew I liked you for a reason. Superfly, Superfly B Money Podcast God. That does not say B Money. Oh, oh my gosh. Come on now. Oh. Y'all, this, look, I am usually try to stay out of this. It's not my business, but y'all just pushing this far too much. I've tried to be civil. I don't know. What Andy, what boss's problem is with me, John? You you did this all to yourself. You could have still been living this lavish you lifestyle. You never wanted to share your sequins. I wanted to wear something sequiny once, and you yelled at me, told me I couldn't wear it. That was your. I was stepping on your style. That's not true because we all wore sequin when we went through some shows. Only when y'all wanted to. Oh, look. It's the boss so, that would guess, guess who just texted me? Who? Andy. Look what at this. What the boss gonna... say? What's up, boss? What's up, boss? We're on live with uh, John and Sean Johns. You know, broke John on the podcast with my with my belt. Look at that. Super fly B money. This mm. sexy gold vest. How you doing, boss? 
Yeah. Oh, he's going to love that. He's going to love that. Of course he'd love it. He'd love anything that you say. John Gilbert says he's on Sean's team. But we don't know what team Sean's on. Sean's on Sean's team. Is that a real team? Or did you just make that up? I'm not picking sides. One day. The judgment day will come. It can it can come. June fifth. June fifth. I've got to be a referee. Sean Johns is going to be the special referee for Andy against John. Andy against John. I'm Team Terry England. But you're not. In, he's not in the match. He's a good guy. Okay, that's got nothing to do with it. John. He's booking this because he's going to make money off of it. And also here's the thing: y'all smart. are not getting to understand it. What will happen is this will destroy the very fabric of the podcast. I think it will usher in a new You guys are era. all thinking about Andy. You're choosing on. You think you're, you've gotten this because you've got to come out to the ring a handful of times. You think, oh, you can't be touched. You're invincible. You're not. Stay Honey, you're it. down. You're thinking everybody should. You think things should be a certain way, and they're not for you, and you can't stand that. The ba- You've let your ego get ahead of you. The baddest motherfucker in town and still the champion, Stan Sierra, is watching. How are you doing, Stan, right. after that victory over Marty Clay? Let's, let's talk about Stan, too. He punched me last week. You deserved it. You shouldn't have got in his way. You got, just walking you got the... in Stan's way. You know what happens to people that get in Stan's way? I just You get up... knocked the fuck out, Johnny. I just walked up the stairs. He didn't have to stop and get ready and rear back and knock me out. Oh, uh, we got Donnie Green said, watching. Excuse me, let me step out of your way, but you just stood there. That's right, Donnie. What's Tell him. Yeah, shut up, John. John. Did you see his uh, Mother's Day post? He actually mentioned... Your princess of a wife. You mentioned Jessica. That's yeah. My, that's my aunt. Oh, he did. He said, and happy Mother's Day to the beautiful Jessica Green. You know what? I was being nice. Superfly be money. Don, Donnie Green, why don't you go ahead, call in. You got to give him the number. Hold up. Whose number is he calling? Mine. Oh, dude, I'm going to throw one of these sunglasses that Andy gave me. Oh, man. Of course God he did. Bless. Dude, I don't even I don't even know how much these cost. Andy just swipes that credit card, and, man, it's it's magic. That's my, that's my money they use. Well. Was. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah, what's going on? We've zoned out from the wrestling. Yeah. The Bad Girls Club. John Goodwin is watching. What's up, brother? What's up, John Goodwin? But this is just... A- Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll be back Every- shortly. Everybody shut up. <laughs> Shut up, boss. Don't you... You do not talk shit to Andy, John. You used to be so much Did you? Did you hear what he said? I got to keep you guys in line, so if that means I got to take you outside and beat you like a dog, I guess I will, John. Guys, guys, guys. You guys used to be such close friends. I am, like... Sean, like I said earlier, that was... That was so. That was so long ago. I I just don't. You know, doesn't resonate with me. I remember it like it was yesterday. We were just too sweet. Well, brother, you're living in the week. past. We need past to. the past. The past of us too sweet, and you immediately choosing the super kick. See, I, I I can't remember. I do remember the super kick, and I just I remember it being just so beautiful and just perfect. 
I remember I remember feeling your jaw connect with my heel and like, oh man, it was a good feeling. Of course you'd say that. Because you were the one that kicked I think I was in the right. Sean Jones, what do you think? I'm not picking sides. Y'all are just too nice game, he's tuning in. Sean Sean Jones, I just wanna ah, oh, there we go. Good job for four time. Man. See? I told you Andy would be Andy would be so proud of me. And he is. And he is watching the broadcast right now, so John, you better hush your lips or the boss is coming for you. They're hungry. Sean Johns, I want to know what you've been up to lately. Well, working. Work. Yeah. Trying to keep these two in line. Are you all in line? It's time to get a... He's proud of you, B Money. <sighs> Did you hear that? Andy's proud of me. Yeah. Of course he is. Look, y'all need to just not do this. I'm sorry. Leon Lexington said B Money sold out. B Money sold out? No. Andy gave me the opportunity of a lifetime. Something that only John can wish in his dreams nowadays. It was my opportunity. And you failed. You failed when you pissed the boss off. This is what happens. Eric Montgomery says, I love, I love Sean Johns. He's a good dude. Andrew Browning. Oh, uh, Andrew. There ain't no super fly in this studio. I don't, I don't see. You're on his side, I see, Sean. He said, damn it. I see super fly. I'm not on money. your side, Andy. I'm not picking sides. Sean. You can demand it. You can request it, but it's not going to happen. I'm my own man. I'm not on Johnny's side. John's side. I'm not on your side, Andy. I'm my own man. I'm my own. And besides that, look at that. Haircut, baby. Guy tried to tell me I what? couldn't cut my hair. Are you are you raising your voice to the boss, Sean? I just did. He ain't my boss. What's he going to do? Fire me? I'm under ironclad. Guaranteed contract. Sean being a good guy is funny, Leon. Let's say it. You're fired. You don't have the authority. Oh, he's firing me. He's firing you. Who's on Johnny's side? Man. Do Browning. Sean's on John's you. side. Are you Brother. kidding me? I remember like a week or two ago you said. What's up, B Money? Or B Money is the goat. B Money is the best to ever come on the podcast. I remember you saying something like that. Where's up? Where's all that now? You're on. You're on John's side. The homeless guy. He's sleeping on the street. You no, know, I used to dress better too. Well, I tried giving you money, and you wouldn't take it. Money that isn't mine. It's money, dude. You can't afford, really, to be picky and choosy. You can't take the money of a man who's so power-hungry that he chose to attack you rather than understand and listen to what you had to say. Yeah, you that's... chose money. You took money to punch Chris Blade in the face. It's on video. That's $5, though. It's still money. But you wouldn't take 100 to get yourself a new shirt, maybe get you in a motel for a night, maybe get you a lot Super lizard. Super glue Johnny Lee. Oh, yeah. Super glue. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's actually, I'm not going to lie, that's a funny comment. Leon Watkins, you're... That's Leon Lexington, Zandy's actual son. You're awesome, dude. Super glue Johnny Lee, that's amazing. Uh, <laughs> dude, maybe we might bring the Johnny Lee back, but we got to keep the super glue. Andy, I want to know what you think about that. Or is it still just John? That's true. Because I will never be super glue. John, why is your shirt open? You know. The button popped off, okay? I can't even afford a good button. 
see, I, I don't, I don't know what to do anymore with this guy. I mean, honestly, we should just, we should just drive him down the highway and kick him out. I ain't even got the money to find my way back home. Andy said you can't even be super glued, John. Mm. He said you're still just John. This. I ain't got money to my account. I can't do nothing. He, you mean you he can't me walk? You don't need money to walk, John. You need money to buy new strands. You ever heard of pickpocketing the for goodie God's box? Sake, for, God, for good sake, I'm wearing an orange peeled dress shirt. It looks good what, on you. Uh, which get which Goodwill? Did you or did you steal that off another homeless guy? Listen, when a homeless guy is on the street and you've been cold all night because it's been raining, you're going to beat someone's ass and take the shirt off their back. So so what's the homeless life been like for you? Have you been fighting raccoons for apple cores and dumpsters? Like, is it, is it that kind of, is that kind of struggle, John? That is a struggle because you got to fight the raccoons for every meal that you get. Oh, there we go. He super glued Johnny Lee because he holds the podcast. No! Oh, look at you, Leon. No. You front runner. No! Front runner. He's picking, to, he's, he's flip flopping. Leon Lexden. I, I mean, can't you believe can't you. can't turn on your dad. Well, Leon's a good man. Your dad is the greatest person on the face of the earth. Look at this belt. Look at this. You know who gave this to me? Andy. He said I deserved it. But but uh, what's that actual name on it? Because I don't see B Money. It says B Money. It says. You need to learn how to spell, brother. It says B Money on it. I see Johnny Lee. Who's Johnny Lee? Well, I can't remember much elementary school, so uh, all I see is Superfly B Money, podcast guy. Wow, Lexington, I mean, Leon Lexington went right for his dad. Fuck nice guy, and he's a bitch. What? Damn, Leon's even turning on his dad. What's How up with dare that, bro? you turn on your own father like that? And DJ Eric said Johnny Lee can be big pimping Johnny Lee. Thank you, big DJ Easy. He's, DJ not, he, he's not pimping with this orange peeled shirt that he stole off a homeless man. Maybe a dead homeless you know, man. Even a pimp don't need a coat to be a pimp. Now, give me one that. example of a pimp that is not a pimp. Hmm. Keep keep thinking, John. Come Michael on. Jackson. Michael J- <laughs> Michael Jackson was the biggest superstar on the planet. Kind of like how I'm going to be. Maybe a couple more weeks. Maybe a couple more days. Still riding with Andy. I will be on Michael Jackson level. Leon said, John Lee is my going. father now. <laughs> oh, Wendy even gets in. I think we're going to have oh. to. <laughs> Let's have a custody battle match. Oh, uh, my Johnny God. Lee winner versus gets Johnny. Winner, winner gets. <laughs> Leon. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, here's our OVW National Heavyweight Champion and the NWA Heavyweight Champion. E. C3 with Shannon the Dude. I guess he got off early to go to his 100.1 WKQQ DJ job. Hmm. EC3. Where's EC1 and EC2? I have no clue. Probably in NXT. I got to talk to him once at the OVW show. I have a replica of the NWA title. He got to hold mine. Oh, that's awesome. And I got to hold the actual one. His actually has somebody's blood on it. Oh, that's nice. You know whose blood? or? I didn't ask. Look at this. I guess we'll have, we'll have DNA tests. We're going to have Jerry Springer on Nice well, Guy Andy Podcast. Jerry Springer's dead, so we mean. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't think about that. Uh, we will resurrect Jerry Springer. Uh, if you ever watched uh, Friday the 13th part but uh, Leon today's Thursday buddy wish I was there it with y'all but my big time uh, Thursday. Thursday no he said Wednesday show 
He don't. Leon, today's Thursday, bud. Leon, eat your Wheaties. Be oh, respectful great. to The boss has sent me a snack now. Ah, what, let, let me just see. He might have texted me, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he sent me that. No, he's on, he's on a boat now. He's just grabbing the inside of his face. He he invited me out there on the boat. It's I mean it's a yacht about. Uh, I mean as big as this whole building. Lam- Whose money is Lam- getting buying the boat? Lamborghini yacht Andy is on right now. I got yep. invited to go, but I was like Andy, I'll stay here and hold down the podcast because you know Johnny Lee is going to get on here. John, I mean, I was going to spit the truth. Is going to get on here, not spit the truth. He's going to get on here and talk shit about the boss. So I had to hold it down. <laughs> Yep, look at, Thursday is all look at awesome. Shannon the dude. Man, that's a nice jacket. I wonder where he got that from. Mm. Hmm. Looks familiar. I got a jacket like that. I got two jackets like that, actually. Yeah. I got a coat jacket, and then I got this vest. Because summertime, be money is in. Okay, I see what you're doing, Leon. Oh, oh Bobby Shira. Oh, Bobby Hello? Shira. Who's calling oh. in? Hold up, uh, let me get this up. Is that Donnie? Hold up, dude. John, I gave you one job. Listen, you've been distracting me this whole time. I didn't know what to do. What kind of fucking championship is that? You there, dude? Radio champion. Radio champion. Hang up and call me back real quick. Because I was about to say, it looks like one of those fantasy titles. But the NWA belt, so you said you have a replica. I, I think, I I love that title. I think it's, it's one of the best looking. It's a new rat replica. My two favorite belts are the World Heavyweight Championship and uh, the Undisputed title from like back in the day. One. Yes. Uh, spinner belt, fucking hate it. Not yeah. hate it, but. It just, it were tradition on how they should look. Yeah. Traditional and how, yeah. Call me back, dude. Man, I don't even know if I want to hear his voice. That's not a, a dude's entitled to his own opinion. He chooses John. We got to respect it. We don't have to like it. What's up? What up, what up? What up, dude? From Sully? Yeah, what's Sully got the haircut. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I got my haircut earlier, too, today. Nice. DJ, who to who? The million dollar bill. So where, he said. Where's Mr. Big Andy? He's in Michigan. Well, I don't know how he wound up in Michigan, because last night... You know, we was balling out. I don't know if you heard this part of the podcast. We was balling out, uh, going club to club, and we ended up at a hotel room in a random place. I don't even remember where we was, and all I remember is midgets. And then after that, like, it was just a blur. Whose money was used? (laughs) Andy's. You sure about that? Yeah. Because, John, I thought you said earlier you have no money in your bank account. So how could it possibly be your money, John? Because. Hold on, we, did, we, we do need to get back to our call there. You're saying. What's up, B money? What's up, Drew? So you said your team, Johnny. Yeah. And I want to know, why, why did you choose to be team Johnny? After uh, 83, Johnny leads to that van. But was not was not called for. That was Johnny Lee's fault, Drew. How is it my fault? You provoked the boss. How you let two people get in get in the studio and fight when you knew they was going to fight? I didn't invite. He had a superplex out there in the hallway. I didn't invite Adrian to do that. I didn't invite him at all. Thank you, dude, for having my back. I can't believe this. Yep. Dude, I will get I will get Donnie Green 
to come down That's there. Fucking. I will get Donnie Green to come down there and get your grandma to fix him a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich and some biscuits and gravy. Fuck Donnie Green. Donnie Donnie Green is a legend. Legend, my ass. (laughs) Million dollar belt. Appreciate that. That's a Johnny Lee's belt, not yours. That is. Who is Johnny Lee? That Johnny Lee doesn't exist anymore, Drew. Yeah, yeah, I saw he do. He's no longer Johnny Lee. He's just John. Just John. Johnny Lee died. That sounds awkward. That sounds awkward. Yeah, man, dude. Hear you. Drew, I couldn't, I, I couldn't hear you there. Uh, you had a, you have a mouth full of shit. Talking all this shit, oh, I, saying that. Uh, I thought that was you. Oh that, my bad. Saying the, saying the boss Andy threw him into the van, saying that it was uncalled for. It was uncalled. Drew, it was not uncalled for. It's what had to be yeah, done. Yeah, it was. And when when stuff has to be done, shit like this. It's happened. on video. Johnny Lee provoked the boss. How? And then you got Andy <laughs> thrown in jail. No. You got the boss thrown in jail. No. I can't leave. Said it was A.J. Alexander called the police that night. Either I didn't way. Let Adrian in. Either way, you let Andy go to jail. How did I let him go to jail? He let Party Man Cam go to jail, too. That wasn't me. Everybody's going to yeah. jail. I wasn't even there when it happened. Him and Andy left to mysteriously have a party together. I'm, and this being pushed up, Shane, he comes out with beer. I try to tell the cop it's root beer. Who's this? Yeah. Oh. oh boy. Uh, excuse me. I don't know what that DJ G, DJ, DJ Hootie Who checking in. Thanks, Andy. Oh, see, Hootie Who's got Andy's back. And <laughs> team uh, Andy. How, hold on, we gotta count this up. How many Team Andy's versus Team? We have one Team Johnny that I know of. Then on Team Andy. It's Donnie Green, my father Bear. Uh, who else said uh, oh, Team Andy earlier? They're manipulating. Wendy. That's what it is. Wendy's Team John because she's kind of fed up with Andy. So we got Leon's like, Team John. So John has maybe three, but Andy has a network of about four billion people. <laughs> Andy knows. Yeah, right. It's not about. How many you have? It's about what you do with it. I'm about to be. Is that what you tell all your women when they tired of the little nub? <laughs> <laughs> Drew, what you think of Johnny's little? Cool. What do you think of John's little nub, Drew? You like that too? <laughs> it looks a little awkward to me, but I still like Johnny anyway. You're entitled to like who you like, dude. As long as you're still good friends with me, buddy, you're still my bodyguard. Yeah, I mean, you. I mean, it's yeah, like that's right. Door, you can be whoever you want. And you can sleep with whatever sex that you want. What the? Nothing's wrong with that, <laughs> Drew. What are you trying to imply? I, hey, I ain't saying nothing. I mean, it sounds like I'm not getting you just did. I'm not getting canceled. You talk about little nubs and all that. Well, when your I'm team Andy, you ain't got a. You ain't got, you ain't, yeah, he did mention a nub. He mentioned there, a nub. There, no, no a, when I say nub, it doesn't a, mean anything. There is a lot of talk about Johnny's nub. Oh, we got to clear the air. What is Johnny's nub, Sean? I thought my name was John. John. <laughs> oh, but it's John's nub. See, oh, boy. Everybody, when I've mentioned John. nub, y'all just go straight to the gutter. Good God, y'all. Yeah, but you were talking about females. I don't. And then you were talking about females, and then you were talking about a nub, so I yeah, imagine. He's, not, he's I had a two nub. Two oh, my God. Man. He's, he's a bad cook. Whoa. Oh. a good cook. I thought he said, did you say cook or Dude, cook? Dude, you burn everything you cook. You're the only guy I know to ever burn jello. Well, oh, wait, what the fuck? Burn jello, what? Johnny, you burn jello. I have never burned jello. 
show and tell the story. Don't you break Jello? He tried to make Jello once in the oven and burned it. I'm like, how the hell did you burn <laughs> Jello? How you burn <laughs> Jello, John? So now I know. So he currently doesn't have a job. We can't hire him for that. We <laughs> hired him for the day while Andy's gone. What's it? I got the perfect. I got the perfect job for you, Johnny Lee. Used to be Johnny Lee. Oh, now he's just John. That's my bad. Uh, you could be our janitor. You could be our janitor. You could wipe. You could wipe Sean Jones's ass. I can wipe. Oh. Thank you very much. You've been tainted by the well power hungry. I'm, I'm, that is him. I'm about to go use the restroom right now, and I'll be back. But yeah, don't I fall had, in. I had some chili dogs and. Uh, Drew, it was not very good talking to you. Hope you don't have a great rest of your day. I will be back. Yeah, you either. Don't fall in. Shit. You'll be cleaning it either way. I'm going to sit. No. Hope he does fall in. That's right, dude. He hopes you fall in. Really? It's it right there, fool. Where's that? Wrong camera. Hey, hey. We see, respect do around see, here. See, this guy claims to be a star and he didn't know where the camera was. <coughs> do you the man. And Maverick. I tried to, tried to. Yeah. Maverick, the Sprinter Belt did make money, but that doesn't mean it was any good. Not a lot of people liked it. And it so good, Sean. I'm doing good, dude. Serve surviving life. Uh, life is all about excuse me. At least I got a roof all over my head. I've offered John a he could sleep on my couch, but he's too proud to take it. I can't believe it's John now. What? Because he went in behind my back and he trademarked not just my entire gimmick, but he also somehow trademarked my actual first name. He took away the knee to John E. Did he fall in yet? I, heard I don't know. I'm not following a guy to the bathroom. Sorry. I heard a splash. Don't know how that was possible, but I heard it. I think John needs to get that belt away from B Money. That's right. Because it does not say B Money. It says Superfly Johnny Lee. That's not his belt. And you know where the boss is right now? He's on a yacht somewhere in Michigan, living it up. With yeah, I just got a Snapchat from me. But it's awfully funny that I ain't got no money to my name. I ain't got no money to what? spend to buy new clothes. No money to buy new jackets. No nothing. I'm just me. John. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. And I didn't invite Man. Alexander that night, but he says that I did. But you have history of inviting people in. But it don't matter how long ago it was, you still have done it before. So. But does that make it right to accuse a man that told me to a van? I'm not going to You have to have physical proof that I actually brought that man in. Oh. Super, hold on. Superstar is back. And I heard your little comment about... Oh, great. John, there's, there's two cameras. My bad, bro. Look at this. Look at that. They probably can't even hear the cameras. They can hear you. We can. We don't know if they can, but yeah. All right, B-Money's back. Got the... Oh, the great. Just got... Just got... Lame. Look at that. The views uh, just went up by like a thousand. Oh... Uh, DJ who is not, not from you taking care of the real ones. That's what that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I did get a check, a mysterious check in the mail for an extra three thousand dollars this week. I don't know what's up. Dude, that is that is hooker money, Sean. That Andy gifted you. I don't know who it came from though. It was just in my mail mailbox. Is that piece of trash still on the phone? Don't call him a piece of trash. Hey, I, a, Andy, Andy says I can call anybody whatever I no, want. No, you can't. Andy's now you not, listen here. Look, hey, hey, we respect Dew. 
before I beat Johnny Lee's ass on live, let's stir the podcast in a different direction. What are y'all thought? What are y'all's thoughts on uh, Stan Sierra beating Marty Clay? I knew that was coming because a certain and someone was Marty that had the match won, and then Kyle Maggard turned on. <laughs> Yep. Marty, it was a travesty of justice. <laughs> and then it took four the man. people to just destroy Marty. I, I I was there. I've been watching. I've been watching Stan Sierra since I was a since I was a wee little boy. He had to regress. Uh, and he uh, is still on top. <laughs> Stan Sierra is the baddest motherfucker. In yes. pro wrestling today, stand a man. St- look, look, there. That's something we can agree on, Drew. But Drew, he had someone out there at ringside helping him get that win, distracting the referee. Even need I remind you? Hey, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. Yeah, I thought it caught. Thought it caught turned too. I was like, oh shit. Marty Clay had the match won. And then but Kyle Maggard. He tagged. got Marty got the last laugh when he took their tag team titles. Yeah, the tag titles, yeah. Last night with Zodiac of all people. That's awesome. Like, what? what was come to him. Hey. Stan Sierra is still standing on that mountain. He punched me in the face. You deserved it. Do we got to go back to this? No, he didn't. I've already proven. You stand in Stan Sierra's way, and you you know what's going to happen. All I did was I walked up those steps, and the next thing I know. But he, you stood there. You didn't move out of the way. You didn't. Party Man That's Cam it. says, hey. What's up? Party Man Cam. Party Man Cam's a traitor, too, because he went and he uh, had some words with me the other night. Party Man Cam, we... We gotta know if you're on Team Andy or Team John. Oh boy, he's on Team Andy because he was having words with me. That don't I? mean he's on his side. We, he we, just he had still words. is not respond. Yeah. But it's gonna be. We all know the answer. It's gonna be Team Andy. All right, hoodie hoo. Glad you like your shower bag. Oh, he said, you didn't bail him out, John. He's Team Andy. Because I ain't got no money. Did you not notice that my bank account's empty? That is what I'm talking about. Team Andy for life. Bullshit. I can't believe you, Johnny. You let two people go to jail. You let Party Man Cam go to jail? Andy? I can't Who else? Am I going to go to jail next? Probably. Well... If I go to jail, we all know I won't be in there for long because Andy's going to come in with that credit card and swipe it. And I'm going to be out there back in this podcast studio. If you get me thrown in jail, Johnny, there's going to be hell to pay. I don't get nobody thrown in jail. Let's get something straight. My money is missing from my account. I cannot access my account either. Sean, party man Cam says you didn't do shit either. What's that about? You team John? I want. Hey, I'm not John. picking sides, Cam. <laughs> You're team John. Sean said he's not picking sides. I'm not picking sides, Cam. I wasn't there. By the time I found out you were in jail, you were already out. But you know you why told he was... me we got there first thing Saturday morning to eat Elite Wrestling Alliance in Richmond. I bet you I can give one guess on how Party Man Cam got out of jail, and that was Andy. And what was the lawyer? What was the lawyer's name again, John? Sterling Funwell. <sighs> Sterling Funwell. Great guy. Great guy. No, he's the type of guy that's corrupt that he's gonna do whatever Andy asks. He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. They get paid to keep their clients out of prison. I mean, Andy only has the top of the top. Lord, he has. I mean, he told you he had. But he was going. I heard Sterling over. was trained under Johnny Cochran. That explains it. Then I couldn't bail you out, pardon me, because if you haven't noticed, I tried to access my bank account where I could bail you out, 
and I found out that I can't even go into my bank account because somehow, some way, they don't recognize me as me. They were telling me that they could not let me no. do. In the password has been changed. It's crazy. I know, dude. Tell me about it. Oh, golly, this guy do. Who is a good man? Do do. What do you want now? Andy's been calling him that. Yeah, and, I, and I've st- I've started to put put some to, together. Cause he's so full of shit. I mean, he's Team Johnny. Anybody on shit. Team Johnny, you can't keep a tag team partner. We was, I mean, going back on what I said earlier, we was we was pretty close, and you know, you wasn't offering much. What do you mean by that? You wasn't offering much. We wasn't doing much. We wasn't hitting the high road. We wasn't getting uh, magical midget strippers. That's what it's about, Johnny. I offered to do things, and you always had to go home. Well, Johnny, what happened happened, brother. And you've lost your shot at not only oh, having course. a great tag team partner, the greatest you ever could have had, you also lost everything. You messed it up with the boss. The boss is on a power-hungry, egomaniacal behavior. When Andy watches this, you might be fired for You might not even get the janitor job. I'm going to try for you. But, you know, if he fires me, he loses out on something strong. That'll be on him. He's already replaced you with the, with the greatest gift that God has ever created, be money. Well, let me ask you something. You're right. You've been, you've replaced Shut me, up, right? Dude. You replaced me, right? Hey, come over and make me. Yeah, make it. In your dreams. You know how you know how big he is. He's six foot three, and weighs three hundred pounds. You line them up, I'll knock Pure them muscle. all down. I'll knock them all down. They're at- Dude does have a stiff clothesline. I'm not going to lie. And he's pretty fast too. Just has part of make him. If you breathe the same air as me, I am not scared of you. <laughs> yeah, right. How tall are you, B Money? Dude, I got a, I got something for you. No, I, I just, I just, I just farted and it was silent and that was for you, just for you. God bless. Get the lumps, you. dude. Hey, what? I just came off the toilet. That John, that it's John, mayor questioner. Do. Let's see. What, let's see what Party Man Cam says. Party Man Cam, let me tell you something. I can't Fuck. bail you out. I couldn't do anything for you because I don't have money in my account. I can't even access my account. I can't do nothing because the boss decided that he's going to trademark hey, all of Hey, you shut up. No yelling. I'll yell if I want. No yelling. I, I will call the boss. He can yell if he wants to. There will be no match. The boss There will does be not. no match, Johnny. Listen here. Hey, 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 hey. Listen here. Listen here. There will be a match. Cut his mic. Cut his mic. I'm tired of him. Be money, shut up. That's right. Dude, I know you're not talking. I'm talking to you, Playboy. I know you're kryptonite. Donnie Green. Papa. He's for shit. He's your Papa. He's Pape. Paparica. He's your puppy. Some of these are actually funny. I'm not going to lie, dude. I'm sorry, but In Party Man Shut Cam, I up. can't believe that John would turn on you like that. I mean, I've had I've had my ways with John, but I mean, there's just been so many people that John has screwed over. And I'm tired of it. And I'm glad to have you on Team Andy. He said y'all were like brothers. Tell me about you and Party Man Cam's relationship. We were like this, like you and me were. And now, he tried to say I didn't bail him out. I can't access my money, so how could I bail him out? But yet, how could I do anything a good, for Party Man Cam? A good friend, <laughs> a good person, 
like Andy, like I know Andy would do this, what I'm about to tell y'all, would scrape and claw, find any way to get the money to bail their brother out. A good man, my ass. And I know Andy would do that for me in a heartbeat. No, he would not. If Andy had zero dollars in his bank account, he would bail me out. He would not. He would find a way. He would, he would he would go rob old ladies and steal their purses just so I could get out of jail. Just so I wouldn't be anybody's honey bun. Kind of like he had. I'm, I'm sorry. He was a honey bun. He. I don't know what I don't know what went on with the boss and the honey buns, but uh, yeah, Big Jim. That's what. But we, Big Jim, is going to be on the hit list after Johnny Lee. John, okay. just John. It'll be hard for you to get a hold of Big Jim because he is in jail. Yeah, that's true. But we're going to hunt him down. You might be sharing your cell phone. Who knows? <laughs> but you know, the boss is the reason why I'm poor. Why I'm fighting raccoons at night to get my <laughs> John? You can't stay with your aunt or nobody? So they can't take you in? I couldn't pay no rent. That's why. I couldn't pay the 200 So even they took me out. $200 to stay at your aunt? No, like, come on now. Unf- Party Man Cam says, Unfortunately, my twin brother Diego is Team Johnny. <laughs> IDK, I don't know why after what Fandito did to him, but I'll deal with him later. Fandio can go to hell, too, because he's on Andy's Party side. man, Cam, once you're on Team Andy, you are invincible, unstoppable. And I guarantee you that your twin brother ain't got shit on you and us. I'm speaking for the boss because he ain't here right now. We will take care of you, Party Man, Cam. Party yeah, man, right. Cam, you're full of shit. Oh, I tried to help you. Montreal screwed you. I do. We're going to have to get off here, bud. We got other people trying to get on, bud. Yep. Have you ever been to Hobby Beach? All right, be my... To what? Be money, screw you. It's... Stout. Andy took me. That's cool. He said... He said... You suck. Who did? Dude, shut your mouth. I did, screw you. Shut your mouth. You and me. You and me in the ring. And I will tear your yeah. ass up, boy. I'll close on your ass. I'll, I'll be your father, because Donnie Green's already your pappy. John Andy made party cam. That's what he just said. Now hold up. Now hold the hell up. Now I got to say something. Watch what you say about the boss. You watch what you say. Because I'm going to step in right now. Johnny you say, Lee, you can't lay a finger on me, and you, you say, know that. You say, you say, Andy crazed you? I'm the one that suggested that you be party man. I'm the one that saw that you were being something else that you wasn't. You need to be party man Cam. So no, let's get something straight. Andy don't control nothing. Hold on, you talking to the mic again. Talk, talking to the mic again. Be his lap dog. Oh, his mic is not. Shit. Lap dog. Did you turn him back on? Are you Team John, Sean? I'm not. You turned his mic back on. He's running the show tonight. I'm not picking sides. He is a paid host tonight. He's not running. Andy is still here in spirit. I see no money. Well, I tried giving you 100 earlier. We let you live. Failed in WCW. That's where that flopped, and that's about right. Who are you calling? What do you want? Who is this? Party Man Cam. Oh, what's up? What's up, brother? Uh, This is B Money, and uh, we got John here. We want to, we want, I want to know what happened with John. I wasn't there. You know, Andy had me on a private yacht and some, I don't even know, but I want to know your thoughts on uh, why you went to jail and how John did not bail you out. Well, unfortunately, where we were at for the 
Appalachian Mount Wrestling, where we were at, it's against the law to drink root beer, unfortunately. And you know what? Here's the thing. I got arrested, and what did John do? Just film it. What and just you? stood there. Just stood there, did nothing. And I asked for a lawyer. I asked for a good lawyer. And here's the thing. I was only in jail for about maybe an, uh, like maybe about like an hour or so. And who who bails me out of jail? Who bails Mr. Out of jail? Silver Hawk, Mr. Silver Hawk himself, Andy. Andy, L- listen, uh, listen. Did you hear what he just said, John? Mm. I heard full of shit because hey, I was with Sean. Don't you talk to the guests like that? The party man Cam, he brings the party. And he just told you the truth on the podcast here tonight. Well, Cam, you know, I couldn't bail you hey. out because I ain't got no money. That's no excuse, Johnny. It is an excuse because I had no money. Cam, being, a, Cam, being a, a member of Team Andy, I want you to tell John the opportunity he missed. Hey, Taylor, whose side are you on, Johnny or Andy? I want you to tell him about the lifestyle you've been living since... Uh, Okay. So the lifestyle you've been living since joining Team Andy. Ever since I joined Team Andy, let me tell you something. He's given me a full case of money, maybe. A full case of money. And that I used on strippers. I used on a new car. We got a new house. Any midget Hell, strippers? I went on a cruise. Any midget like strippers? Like what? Any midget strippers? They couldn't handle me. Oh, there we go. Classic Andy. Gee, I you know where what? he got you that You know one, what? Huh? Hey, you know what? I'm not even going to lie to you. I had to use a little bit of Sean's 401k a little bit. But All you know right. what? It's still okay. Hey, I need that 401k. You better put it back. Yeah. Uh, so. Remember, so you- I'm not picking sides. Sean's going to pick a side eventually. He can say all he wants. He's going to be on somebody's side, and it's going to be Andy's side. This is like picking, like, in Star Wars when uh, you pick the green lightsaber or the red one. We all know that you're going to pick the green one and be on Team Andy. Because Party Man Cam... Oh, you already know. Party Man Cam, where... where, You guys know what side I'm picking, huh? Enlighten me. Enlighten me. You... I mean, you've been here the whole podcast, and you've... From Party Man Cam, B Money himself, how the life is with Andy. I hear it. Let me tell, Andy attacked tell you me something. last week. Let me tell you something. Everything that glitters is not gold. I'll just leave it at that. Party Man Cam, weigh in on this. Here's the thing there's a reason why. This is the reason why Super Fly. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. You don't have that name anymore. That's the reason why John no longer has that name. There's a reason why he no longer has that money. There's a reason why he lost and he is going to lose when him and Andy. Oh, you're going to lose this battle, John. So at this moment, I suggest just giving up because everybody is not on your side anymore. And you know what? Here's the thing. You know what? Here's another thing. Where were you? John, when Scott Diamond knocked me the hell out. Where were you, John? I'm part of the Diamond Cartel, so that one is on Look, me. There you he, go. See so that? He See that? He was he, on. He missed that was on. He claims, John claimed that him and Party Man Cam were brothers, but then says we were he bro- was in the Diamond Cartel behind his back. How does that work, John? Listen. I was super fly. And when you're super fly, the Diamond Cartel asks for sequel to be a part of them, you're going to be a part of them. And this guy yeah, but on the you phone. Yeah, chose the wrong side, Johnny. No, I chose the right side because now I'm starting to see because my money's what's being thrown around. You have proof of that. <laughs> Did you not say, we? this is the second time, John. Did you not say... That your money, that you had zero dollars zilch in your account, Johnny. I wonder why, because I can't access that account. Andy has said on here he's he knows very little, so do you think he's smart enough to actually hack 
No, or, but he's got someone that is. And he got someone that is pretty smart to do it. Who? You looking at me? <laughs> he, Andy would never do something that shallow. Don't. Right. Party man Cam, tell him. Be money. Let me clear something. If I had, if I even wanted to waste my breath right now, I would come over there to that studio, look Johnny in the face, and knock him out. I think you. I think you should come do it. I think. Johnny but right now, I'm too, right now I'm too busy. What's up, ladies? I gotta go. Oh, <laughs> sometimes oh, ladies. duty. Sometimes duty calls. <laughs> Be money. Why don't you talk about a place of will? I got some good girls for you. All right, brother. You know, <clears throat> I'll say, DJ I'll say you something. I don't think John. It was I've great. It was great to talking jail, to you, Party Man Cam. You have a good one. We talk to you, B Money, Sean, Cam, whatever. Um, John, I ain't got nothing to say to you. I got nothing to say to you, jackass. Hey, hey, hey. He's, he's, hey, hey, he's a guest. Taylor, the reason we're picking sides is Andy and John. Formerly known as Superfly, are battling for some ungodly reason. We need to know what side you're picking. Just know your good friend Sean is not picking sides, so He's you don't gonna have pick to follow me. Sean's gonna, Sean's gonna pick a side. You don't speak for me. He can't hear me because I'm whispering right now. But Sean is gonna pick Team Andy. All right, I, I guarantee. You don't speak for me. So, yeah, Sean, you said you weren't picking sides, and I totally respect that. I do. I did not hear what he's doing to me. I can't shave my face without looking in the mirror. I have to look at this beautiful face of mine everywhere. I can't pick sides. I, I mean, I'm torn. My cousin is John. Andy's been my friend... For a long time, I can't choose. So, now, I'm being put in the match as a referee. I gave an oath to the... St- Are you going to call this To UCW that I will call that match strictly down the middle. I am there strictly to count the one, two, three, or the submission. Shout out to Terry England and Ultimate Championship, Chris. I'll be back. Hold on. Give me a second. Give him a second to get Give me a second. We're going to rip the hippo. Sorry, hippo. How dare you do that Don't to Berto's hurt hippo. Berto's hippo. You know what happens when you do that to his hippo, right? What happens? Berto goes crazy. Listen, dude. He was insulting me. When I say it back to him, he deserves it. We used to be tight. And now I have no money. I have no sequins. My belt's gone. My hat's gone. And I'm wearing an orange dress shirt instead of what I would prefer. I've even lost all my wrestling shirts. John, what happened to that uh, $100 bill? Oh, give me that $100 bill. If you're not going to take it, give it back to me. Look, why is Andrew Browning still? Give it. Sean Johns, I have an offer for you. Live on the podcast. Anything you've ever wanted, anything you could ever dream of. No, you what I want, you can't put a money price on. Come on. You know what? Uh Uh-huh. Come on. I can't take it. Just can't. I got too much integrity. Not everything can be bought with money. I have to look in the mirror in the morning. How's that 100 feel inside your hand, by the way? How's the what? You heard me. How's that 100 sound inside your hand, by the way? 
Oh, y'all hear that? Y'all hear that? Oh, man. That sounds amazing. Do you want, do you want some, Johnny? I don't want none of Annie's dirty money. Well, j- you, with this bum shirt you got, you ain't even got a damn button. Your chest is wide open, showing your nipples and your moles to everybody, and your little oh, chest hairs. Man. What the hell, John? And you won't take the hundred. Because you says... Because I have integrity. You don't got much integrity with orange slices on your shirt, brother. You stole that off a homeless man. That is not integrity. Listen. That's right, man. He was doing me dirty. Guys. It's the other way I've got to step away for a minute. Can I trust you all to be professional while I'm going? You can. The boss... Boss told me keep it civil with John Let's here. Keep it civil because we John? need a janitor. Bad. Can you behave? Yeah, I could behave. I come back and they're hands on. Now it's how the work care of you. So we're gonna do a little. We're, I'm gonna do a little job interview with you here, John. Uh, how how is your work experience with uh, piss? Have you ever worked around, like, any urine or poop or, like, are you good with cleaning toilets? Are you familiar with a plunger? I've never did anything like that. Well, I don't... I've used a plunger. Okay, so you do have job experience being a janitor. Okay. Uh, do you have any felonies, any, uh, you know, uh, maybe getting somebody to throw you into a van? Any something like that? Have you ever uh, got anybody arrested? By chance? I've never gotten anyone arrested. Although I do recall a certain boss told me to a van. It's a job interview, John. You gotta be professional. I am being professional. What about you? Andy, if you're watching, please please save me. Looking at looking at John, looking at this bum right here, just John <laughs> just it just hurts. It hurts, Andy. I, I'm tired of this guy in my in my podcast room, honestly. And your podcast room. All right, final question for the job, John. Uh, I want you to tell. I want you to apologize, to Andy. Why, like Kayla? I will. You're gonna look me in the face and tell me you're not gonna apologize to Andy. Like hell, I will. He owes me the apology. Matter of fact, you owe me an apology for your foot in my jaw. What happens, happens. And you're going to give Andy an apology. It don't matter if, like I said earlier, I have to take you out in the parking lot and beat you like a dog. Take you out like old Yeller. It's in with the new, out with the old, John. And that's what you don't seem to realize. You're past your prime. And you seem you're to not, realize. You're not super fly Johnny Lee no more. And you seem to not realize who does a lot of work on this podcast. Who is Joshua Thomas? A fan. Are you saying I'm all talk or Johnny's all talk? Listen, I book the show. I do a lot of talking to the guests. I do a lot around here. Andy threw me to a band. I tried to be civil. I'm not going to be doing a damn thing like apologize to him. He said said me. So I'm guessing your team, Dirty John. So you're going to be homeless just like John. You're good with living in a cardboard box and not having... The most beautiful title. The most beautiful midget strippers. As I've this... said, as I've said before, whose name's on that belt? Andrew, you say you wish you was in the studio one more time. I'm going to walk down to your house and smack the shit out of you, boy. There ain't a hair on your balls that you will. I hope you know Andrew ain't got ain't got no count. Don, I'll get Donnie Green on him. Do you know Donnie, how much that... Donnie Green, if you're watching, handle my light work. 
you know how how much weights do lifts every day, every second, every moment of his life? How fast that man can run? And you're talking about you could whoop his ass just like that? Do you Dude is a powerhouse. John, John, did you not did I do I need to super kick you again? Did you not feel the effects of the first one? You were knocked out cold. You need to tell your buddy do what happens when you mess with B Money Team Andy. Do and can handle his own business. He said you ain't gonna I've lived in less. Well you could be living in more with Team Andy. You ain't gonna smack no one. I smack you, I smack your mama, your grandmama, your dog, your cat. Leave the man's dog and cat out of this. Well, I don't give a shit. I smack anybody I want. Listen, you've been corrupted by Andy's dirty laundry. You're gonna be you're gonna be clean. I don't even remember this B money I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at someone that's been tarnished by the dollar bill. Sean Johns, uh, why you been gone? Johnny has been constantly bullying me. Will you please text the boss? Guys, I don't mess with Grandma. She's from Kentucky. Well, you know who else is from Kentucky? My grandma. Josh, I'm... No, no, we ain't messing with nobody's grandma. We will leave grannies out of it. But tell them. June 5th. Grandmas are invited. And then Drew and then June sixth, they're invited to the Nice Guy Andy podcast after party. Sean John, what are you feeling right now? I'm really I'm just picking sides, this, that, and the other. It, Granny got diamonds on all fingers. They hurt. Joshua Thompson said. They ain't real diamonds. They ain't bought from Andy. Andy didn't buy them. And Dude well, told you shut up. <sighs> Tell Dude, I'm about to block him on here because he just keeps opening his yapper. Dude is the man. Dude can sniff my balls. Hey, hey, hey. You don't disrespect me. Dude is so, so fast that he'd be on you before you could even get to the door. Well, Donnie Green's already on him. Honest, Donnie Green. Who can't even tell when a picture's fabricated? Hey, that's that's my aunt that you're talking about. That is my aunt. You can't block me, bro. I'll knock you out, Andrew. Shut your damn mouth. I smell you from here. Yeah, it smells so <laughs> damn good in here because B-Money is here. He uh, said, wash your ball. Why are you sniffing the other dude's balls, Josh? I, yeah, what you doing with my balls, Josh? Listen. I know they was on some midget strippers last night, and you probably picked them up after I already had them. Me and Andy done went through them. You got the sloppy seconds of our midget strippers, but that don't mean you got to sniff my balls, brother. The midget strippers was my idea, and he stole it. Matter of fact, the gold chain they be talking about and the gold teeth. That's my deal. And he stole all of that. I don't I, I just don't see Andy doing anything that like that. Because you're in with him. I'm you, not no You saw you saw that money and you're like, oh yeah, I could buy myself a brand new car. That's a it. brand new a brand new pair of panties. The best has entered the chat. What uh, up, Crow? Chris Crow. Chris Crow, what's going on, hey, brother? Hey, Chris Crow, uh, we need to know, are you Team Andy or Team John? Uh, Johnson Thompson Dude, said. we are getting... <laughs> Andy listen, owns the idea, John. Listen here, Andy. Of the midget strippers. Listen here, Andy. Enjoy your dumb yacht. Enjoy your dumb business that you're doing right Will now. You, John. Sean guys. Jones, you better get it. Guys, guys. Chris Crow, the goat. Andy, I don't know what to do. <laughs> John has just been on here. Why am I stuck with you? Talking smack. I tried offering him money. Told him he could come to Team Andy anytime he wants, I'm but not he just coming. keeps talking. I'm not coming to no Team Andy. 
You do know what happens if you don't win. Well, when them lights shut out June 5th, we all know you don't, what team you're going to be You on. win, you get Johnny, you get your sequins, you get your podcast god championship belt. Wait, whoa, 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 Sean Jones, no, did no, you say? No, 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 that's already part say, of the deal. Did you say when you win? I said if he wins. If he wins, okay. Oh, we was about to have a problem. I didn't know if you was going to Team Johnny or not. Continue. No. Team Crow is only for Team Crow. Fair enough. Team Crow. I'm Team Sean, so I can see. Andy, I won't be bending no knee you will for be you. Bending the knee. I be no knee. June fifth. Bending that knee but for old Uncle Andy. Johnny, should you not become victorious? Look at me. Ignore him. Look at me. Should you not become victorious, you're suspended from the podcast one full year. June 5th, 2025. No pressure to you, though. I won't bend the knee. How's my sloppy seconds feeling, by the way? Man, them midget strippers were brand spanking new right off the lot. I'm not talking about those. I mean, my... uh, Secret best, my uh, championship belt. I don't. Ever, what my are you talk, entire look. What are you talking about? This belt obviously says Superfly B Money the Podcast. It obviously God. says best Superfly B Money Superfly Podcast God. I do not see no B Money Superfly Gun E. I see my name on it. Hey, hold on. Boss is typing. Sean Johns, you work for me. You know what to do. One, two, three. You can't bribe the official. The official must play it down the book, just like he's supposed to. Sounds like Sean Johns is laying down the law. He I'm is. letting you all know. Andy, I've tried. I've tried. I'm done playing games. I've, I've done I'm my done best. I'm done with this. You will get along. I am done. I'm not picking sides. You guys can destroy each other. I'm just there to count to three. I can't shut up. Andy, you can't keep telling people to shut up. Shut up, John! Hey, hey. Podcast will be next Wednesday, dude. We got Amazing Maria in here. We all love her. Do you all know why? We got Jimmy Walls as well. Because she's amazing. We got Rated X. What is here next Thursday? Next Thursday. That's right. And do you know who booked them? Yet, Andy wants to fire me or suspend me? I guarantee you, Andy told you to book them. No, he didn't. Yeah, Caitlin, I'm, I get emotional because these are people I truly care about. Well, Caitlin, if Sean Johns would I'm just take this $100 bill, all his problems would be solved. That is not how a referee works. Caitlin, tell Sean Johns to take this $100 bill. Look at this. Do it too. She'll say take it and give it to me. What, what, we'll see, dude. What would you do, Caitlin? Would you take this $100 bill? What is do? Can I come next Wednesday? Is that the, That's got to be the stupidest question I've ever heard, dude. So, Sean Johns, one more time. Right there. I can't take the money. I'm not taking the money. Come on, Sean. Andy, I'm not taking the money. I need the money, but I'm not taking it. I've got far too much integrity. Sean, just take the money. Just look not, at that, Sean. Don't tell me to take, take the, the money. money. Oh, Caitlin's telling me to take them. Caitlin, I can't take the money, my friend. He's got. He's gonna take the money. The dude says, "Shut your damn mouth, bro." <sighs> Look, dude, you're not helping your case for wanting to come next week. You're gonna get smoked, brother. I'm going. I will lay you down, dude. I can't convince them to let you in if Andy and him decide to keep you away. Well, you're awfully comfortable, dude. Dude, 
I'm going to tell Donnie Green to make your bedtime 7 o'clock again. Don't make me make Donnie Green make your bedtime 7 o'clock. He said he's out of here. You're a jobber. Andrew, what have you done? Are you are you on the podcast right now holding a belt with a vest on? Sunglasses, $3,000? A vest that was mine. It, look at Maverick, that. Maverick, whose side are you on? Why do you keep trying to stir the pot, dude? I'm not going to take the money. I'm not going to be in anybody's pocket. Unlike you, I have too much integrity to just take the money to pick sides. Sean John, uh, Andy said you are his oldest friend. Listen, Andy. Really, Referee. Maverick? You got to bring up Jimmy. You got to bring up Jimmy King. What would King do? <laughs> We got to sweeten the pot a little. That's what Hootie Who said. Hootie Who, come on, bud. Said, "Be money, made we two. We got two, sweetie. The oh, do you get that? Sean John's check is in the mail. <laughs> It'll go straight back. Return to sender. Andy, you can't buy a referee's loyalty. They must play it." By the book. That's the whole point of an official. I'm not paying. I was just offering him the deal of a lifetime, and he will not budge. He will not take it. I I don't understand why. Soliciting. I'll tell you why. I was raised. You can put something shiny and sparkling in so much space. They're going to go for it. I've always been raised. You earn what you get. Money doesn't make everything go round. That's why I'm not going to pick sides. Andy can get mad. I don't care. John can get mad. I don't care. I'm not picking sides. I'm not picking your side, John. I'm not picking Andy's side. I will call this match down the middle. You either like it or you lump it. But either way, at the end of the day, you've got to respect it. End of discussion about that. You heard that, didn't you, Andy? Mr. Boss. Why are you talking to the boss like that? Why? I mean, why ain't you yelling at John? He's the one who got him thrown in jail. Party Man Cam, probably one of your favorite wrestlers. A great guy. Maverick, I'm doing Help. the right thing as according to myself. I've got to look at the way. Oh, Sean Johns, you are very wrong. You will do what I say. I will not. Do what you say, Andy. I have to be here to contractually obligation. You don't like it. Nobody likes it. Guess what? I'm honoring my side of the contract. I'm not picking Johnny's side. I'm definitely sure as hell not picking your side. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. And be money, I'm not picking your side either. You know what side I'm on, Team Andy. Yeah, your side, Team Andy. I mean, that's the boss. That's CEO. Oh, Mike Maverick's threatening, offering to come manage you, John. Sean is doing the right thing. Who's this guy? I mean, Sean Dude. don't get a manager. What? No. I He's mean, John. John. Yeah, I mean, John. John, I hope you've been eating your Wheaties. I hope you get I hope you get prepared for this match because Andy's going to put a beating on you. You're going to be taken out back like old yellow. If child. I may. If I do get my sequence back, I do get my belt back. You're going to see a whole new side of me because I'm sick and I'm tired of the backstabbing, and the betrayal. Cause I've been seeing it all too much lately. Johnny Lee, you're the only one who's ever betrayed anybody. Listen, I haven't betrayed nobody in over two years. I've been good. Hey, I've been squeaky clean. What did you do for me, John? What did you do it's for a normal Party Man match, Camp? Josh. I was your friend. What? You didn't ask 
for nothing for You me. wasn't pushing me to the top. You know who's pushing me to the top? The only and reason why he's pushing you to the top you know is because he needs an ass kisser. You know who's... You You're know his who's, new ass kisser. Is it because you got tired of doing it? Because you've been doing it since you got here. Oh! No, it was inside the contract for me to be kissing his ass. But no longer because now you're his new kiss ass. I'm not kissing no You look ass. so good being a kiss ass with that gold vest. I appreciate you saying I look good. I mean, this vest, I mean, it is So large. you admit that you are an ass kisser. I'm, what? I never admitted that. I admitted that I look <laughs> you very just, good You just appreciate that. baby. You just appreciate being called a pucker lip. You got party man Cam arrested. That's no, from the I boss himself. The boss don't lie. The boss don't lie, Johnny. I did not get Party Man Cam arrested. Your bra- I was nothing but nice. John, I would love to beat you all over this podcast studio, but you know in the contract you can't lay a finger on me or there is no match June 5th. You're lucky about that. <laughs> John, you're so lucky. Getting because- super kicked. Makes a man start thinking about what he's going to do to a person. Because I am a, as I mean, professional Marty as Marty Gennetti it, got super kicked, and he ran through a window. That's true. Hey, by who? Who did he get super kicked by? Shawn Michaels. The, the greatest kid. ever. Where is it, where's that going to put me, John? But if you can't touch him, he can't protect him, himself. I dare him. Be money better not touch the real super fly or he's got that's from my own brother. Hey, hey. Oh that's right, your brother just showed you he who knows, side he's on. He knows he cannot step in the ring. He cannot be in the same area as him. He has always known I was the superstar out of both of us. And he knows that's the reason he's not on the podcast right now, is because B Money is the star. B Money's always been the star. You mean the ass kisser with the puckered lips? So Richie, that's what we call him, Richie. If you're fucking watching this, buddy, brother, I can't believe you'd switch sides on me. We're actually we're actually blood related, and that honestly hurts. But if I gotta lay you out. I will. Mary, he's no longer Johnny. He's just John. B Money is non star at all. You know, star at is all. Is that coming from Andrew Doodoo Browning? Yeah. I just want to know why he called and him. And Josh Doo-Doo. is saying, be who? Because Drew is, or Do is full of shit. You know, and I've also Doo-Doo. Know, I've also noticed that Andy was calling him Doo Doo as well. Oh. I'm starting to put the piece together. Say. So, hey, this whole time. My great minds think alike. No. Great this whole minds time, think alike. No, this Johnny. whole time, the ass kisser and the ass be who, have been called. Who is Joshua Thomason? Who the hell are you, jobber. brother? Did I already tell jobber. you earlier I'd smack you, your dog, your cat, your mother, your brother, your Leave grandma? Leave the dog and the cat alone. But you don't mind if he slaps his mom or his brother? <laughs> I mean, the, I mean the animals are pretty. The animals are pretty precious. Andrew says you're full of shit, dude. We all know. And Say to my Browning. face, bro. That's what dude said. Say to his face. He could. Just you know how much money? Funny. You know what it takes oh, to get face to face with B money. Y'all just stop fighting. This nice is guy. ridiculous. Ah, there the we boss, go. There's the boss, said, boss. The boss says shit, boss, shit, dude. I want to know how it is on that ga- on that Lamborghini yacht right now. Mary, your son can take care of himself. He's a tough guy. Andy, you took everything from me, and now you're on a yacht kissing someone's ass. Andrew, I hope someone's I, getting your honey when bun. I, when I said that, I was talking to uh, the other bum in this chat. I was talking to Joshua Thompson because he called me be phony. And that just don't have a nice ring to it. Sorry about that, dude. We ain't going to talk about your mom, man. Yeah, I wouldn't talk We're about your mom. We'll leave your mom out, dude. I was talking to the other jobber. He wasn't chat. talking about, he wasn't I talking wasn't about, talking about dude. you, doo-doo. That's the only thing I'll defend on. Yeet. Play, oh, let's see. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Bow movement, not be money. 
Oh. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Who is this guy, Robert? Robert. That's Caitlin's stepdaddy. Well, she was just on here on my side. Well, she was telling me to take the money. I, I think she, she was telling you to take the money because she's on my side. So wait, what's the relationship between these two again? That's her stepdad. I'm not a dumbass. Well, his Andy. daughter is on our team. This baby. man right here said that you've been on a yacht. So call me a dumbass, dumbass. I Andy, I want to know how good do I make this championship look, baby? Oh, oh. Caitlin says she don't claim Robert. No, she don't claim DJ it. DJ Hootie Who said he's on P. Diddy's yacht. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I knew well, it. Well. My mama's a second degree black man. I'm not so. switching sides, Maverick. P. Piss Diddy off. is on Andy's yacht. Joshua I've already said, got a PS5, so I don't need your side. Joshua said, it. you can go after his mama because she's a second degree black belt. And he's also a degree in black belt. Oh, and he's a Marine, so Little step Richie, up. but baby bear says, I don't up. need to hear any disrespect from Andy's puppet. <laughs> oh, oh, you're a puppet. Do you know what happens? We, we was in practice room after practice room for years and years, and you know what happened every time you and me put that toe on the line, went toe-to-toe in a wrestling match. I took you down every single time, and I pinned you against the ground. So you're Every a beautiful time. child now, huh? Oh, Andy. That's what Andy called you. Child. A beautiful so, child. Richie, shut your mouth. This doesn't involve you. John Josh, you're not changing sides because you're already on my side, remember? Who signed your checks? You don't control my integrity, Andy. What happened to that wrist, B? What happened to it? Come on. John, you're real close getting punched in the mouth right now. Spit you don't it out. bring up the wrist. Your brother just brought up the wrist. So what happened was, I'll tell you a little story. Give you a little backstory on the wrist. Me and my brother, we was wrestling. It was we was probably two weeks out of the outside of the first meet of the season. And he rolled over me. And he broke my wrist in three different places. You want to know why he broke my wrist in three different places? It was because of jealousy. And Dad knew. Bear knew who the star was. He knew it wasn't Richie. And so he was mad at Richie. He's still mad at Richie over him breaking my wrist. And Richie will never admit that that was over jealousy. He couldn't stand the little brother being the star. And, Richie, you know what happened two weeks later after you broke my wrist? I was on that mat, and I was 13-0, and 0, not two weeks, three weeks later. Joshua, Undefeated. Joshua said, punch John and you'll hurt yourself. Don't, don't hit John, you'll hurt yourself. Josh, dude, why? You just bag of trash. Get out, will you get out of my chat, you scumbag? Look at him over that look. He, he's crying for Johnny. He's crying for Johnny. He ain't crying for me because I ain't crying. I'm the happiest you know I've why? ever been. You're the ass kisser that the boss needed. I am no ass kisser. He needed a guy that's going to look the other way and not at all call him out on his shit. I'm not looking the other way. I'm seeing it for what it is. You're a, you're a dirt bag, no. John. You're when a I, dirt bag, John. No. When I see what he's doing, I'm going to call it out. And that's why he had to go and get you to be his little ass kisser. Because you're his beautiful child now. You're all, you're getting awful close. And you know what happens when you touch me. Do I got to go over to get I haven't Sean come Jones? to that side, buddy. I'm right here. Sean John, you weigh in on this. I want to hear your thoughts right now. We What's don't want on? to talk about taking my senior season by taking out my knee because he didn't want to see stardom. <laughs> God. You know what happened? You was rolling with the best, and you got hurt. You couldn't hang with B-Money in his prime. And I'm still in my prime, baby. The prime never runs out with B-Money when you ride with the nice guy, Andy. <laughs> Andy had to have a bowel movement, and Sean and John wasn't no part of any shit. That's right. Robert, dude, bro. Who is... Who is Robert? Is that the one where his, where his uh, daughter is on Team Andy and he's not because he's a big fat pussy? Andy, hey, hey, hey. Andy well, let's watch when have language. I ever had a check? 
No check this week. When have I ever had a check? Come on. Set your How's set your, your money brain. been blowing up in your account if you ain't had a check? Direct deposit. Because I make my money on the side. By laying on your nice side? Gal, nice gal, Andy. Josh, come on now. They call Andy draws, and B is just a stain. Oh, come on, that's, baby that, that's bear. That's what your bear said. No, I will. I will call Dad, and he knows because he's Team Andy, and he will put a beating on you just like I'll drive down there right now to Richmond, Kentucky, and I'll take you out right now. I've said what I've had to say about you, and I'm tired of looking at you, looking at your stupid fucking comments. And all let's, you can do, calm down. It's getting me worked up, Sean, because this is my own blood brother. This is where this is gone, Sean. Because you went and you chose Andy's ass. Buddy, I'd destroy you. I'd destroy you at least I can get pussy. You Boy. squirt. Oh, my God. Robert, Big money, dude, I get come it. on now. Broken money. Broke Robert, money. I know. I know. I That's know what where, Josh was I know saying. where you're from, Robert. You're from, uh, what's that What's that one show called? Oh, My 600-Pound Life, buddy. Oh, oh, hit the treadmill, oh. Robert. Hit the oh. treadmill, buddy. Wow. Really, B Money? Really? He probably always hits the treadmill. You need to hit the treadmill. Hey, listen to look. I'm not even going to acknowledge Andy this. Andy said, Joshua Jealousy, B Money. And because so, your dad loves you more and your Uncle Andy loves you more. There we go. No, your Uncle Andy loves that you kiss his ass a lot. Hold on. I can't even hear this fool beside me because I got this belt that just keeps clanking and clanking and clanking. Look at that. You mean my belt? It belongs to a real champion now, John. I was a true champion of honesty and integrity. Give you them hell on Chris Blade you know for five dollars. No, when Omega asks you to do something, you do it. Omega is boss. But for five dollars, you on, wait, 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 wait. integrity on one of your, your good money. friends. What the fuck is going on on the screen? Right Naked now? Median. Oh, okay. also, your brother said. You lost blood when you turned on Superfly oh. and changed who you are. Josh he said 2001 called Joe Dirt wants his look back. Who is this guy? Is this not the guy I said I'd smack the shit out of? Evidently. Because he needs to sit his ass down and quit being a damn keyboard warrior. Robert said, be original, be more original. You think I ain't heard the fat jokes before. Robert, come on now. That's right, B. He oh, told you to get Robert. original. Oh, Robert. Robert, go cry, go cry me a fucking river, Robert. I'm tired of you. Uh, let's see what my brother said. Be you, nice to the guests on the chats. You don't tell me what to do. I'm above you in every single way. Well, let Johnny. me tell you something. You need to learn how to be nice to the guests on the chats. We ain't never did that to people. Let me read what this fucking idiot of a brother I have. You lost, you lost blood when you turned on Superfly and changed who you are. I haven't changed a damn thing. I think you're, I think you're just mad because I ain't been handing you a little bit of this. I ain't been taking care of you because I've been busy with Andy on yachts and doing parties and going to Coachella, and I think you're just jealous, just like you were back in high school, just like you have been your whole life. Joshua said, "Still waiting for the SmackDown." I stood up, challenge you any day. It's just. This guy's still talking. Just a keyboard warrior. That's all you guys are. All y'all are fucking John Crybabies. That's what y'all are. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take a page out of the Rocks book. Y'all are just a bunch of John Crybabies. Go cry a river, cause you know that John J June sixth is gonna be laid out on that mat. One, two, three, and Andy's gonna be over top of him with the championship above his head. Be phony. That's what uh, Joshua just said. Please, phony, be phony. Don't phase me, John. That's right, Joshua. He don't phase you at all because you got his number. You phase me about as much as the hair I have in my ass crack, brother. You mean like the one that you kiss on Andy? What are you? What's up with you and this whole ass kissing? You must, you must love. I mean, you're right now. Next to a nice ass. I mean, you're right now. You're right now putting him over like he somehow made you. The gods gift to, er, to the women. And the fact is, you're wearing my sloppy seconds. You're wearing my title. And you're putting it over like Andy something special. 
And he's calling you Joey Dirty. I'm a Joe Dirty. And that's your beautiful. Sean Jones. How many times have... Look, look at the belt. What does it say on it? This was it says, custom. I'm not... No, hey. you're not getting it. It says, it says it's John. Nice guy, Andy Podcast, super fly. The hell? John be going. Money. What? Wait, what'd you say? It says B Money. How the hell? You already got it redone, and right? You see that? It says, what does oh, it say? Oh, Mary's even. She's, of course, Mary don't count because that's your mom. John going to be over here and he wants you to over here and laugh out loud. Mary, if Johnny gets the right amount of moves and can hold Andy down for the count of three. When uh, I'm, my, Joshua will be at the TSW show in Yellowsboro. Come on out. Fucking bring it, brother. You know what that means? Suck it. Look at this beautiful shirt. Hold on. I'm going to plug something real quick. Vintage Therapy got me nice with this Degeneration X shirt. I bet from, you stole that shirt. I didn't have to steal nothing. You know why? Take a guess. Take a gander. Because of Andy. Yep. You're like damn always. right, John. I mean, like he stole my money from my bank account, and I can't even access it. I tried to use my password. And it did not let me go into it because it said that it does not recognize me. I tried to use my username. It tells me my username's wrong. Did you actually go to the actual bank or did you just still try to I went to, to the to actual the bank and also to the actual mm. account. They That's probably odd. laughed at you when you got there because you got this stupid orange shirt on. What the, what the hell is this, Johnny? Where'd you get it from? What'd you have to do for that shirt? Someone... Wanted to fight me on the street, okay? When you're homeless and there's another homeless man he wants to fight, you're going to fight. And you and got damn jorts on, John. You are not John Cena. Why the hell you got jorts on? I'll tell you why I got jorts on. Because it's too hot inside summer, and this is the only pest I got. It is hot in this podcast currently. And it is a little I have swamp ass. I wouldn't hell. know because but, I got the greatest pain ever. Because you know why? Because I'm sitting in the boss's seat. Rub my ass all over it. Andy. Pull your pants back up, you dumbass. No one wants to see that. Oh! Maverick has said he's Team Andy. Maverick's team Andy. A traitor. That's, that's a man of class right there, Maverick. You're the man. He's ha- But Maverick, to be fair, you've had it in for Johnny from the get-go, and that's for uh, no reason at all. Nobody but and maybe Andy went to suck nothing. You got Joe Dirt. Who is this? Oh, my Robert. gosh. Say that. This guy, Andy. Boss you, John, that's right, Josh. Will you tell these internet trolls, these these guys who just can't hold a feather to me, can you tell them to get off the stream? They're bringing, like, they're just bringing it down. You know what I mean? This is all about positivity, and this is all about how Andy is going to take John out. He ain't going to be taking nothing out. And Sean Johns will be on my team. No, I will not. I don't know why y'all keep on trying to bribe the referee. A referee's job is to always be impartial. Not biased, impartial. It'll be straight down the middle. So you're trying to say, but you're trying to bribe him. I've seen you trying to offer him a hundred dollars. I've seen Andy over here trying to talk about he mails him a check. Y'all are trying y'all's best to try to sway him to choose the dark side. I what? ain't trolling date and time. Well, while you're working at your nine to five, I'm not going to work around your schedule, brother. I'm not going to work around your schedule because I ain't working that nine to five. I'm out, I'm out there with Andy. I ain't, I ain't freaking flipping burgers at McDonald's like you clowns in the fucking comments section. Look at, hold on, hold on, hold on. Me and the, me money for time are going to rule the podcast world. Shut up, Andy. With an iron Shut fist. up. Open that back up. Of course you don't know how to open it up. You know why? Because I'm the guy that knows how to do things. Y'all are just jealous that y'all want to take phone. What's this video we're watching? I don't even know. <laughs> it's got Creeper DDP. You remember they was just doing a bunch of like You know creep? what? I got cookies in my house too. Oreos. Mega stuff. God, I Maverick. Love, I love Oreo. No, I just me and Andy are like minded. He finally woke up. Sarah got, well, there got we that go. ball kick. 
Hey, that's you right there. Duck, 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 duck. Oh, see, that's you. Duke go go take out the trash. Say. That's going to be your new job. That, that's another job no, that's can a get job. for him, Andy. No, let, let, let's get something straight. You've been on trash. If I beat Andy, not only do I get my stuff back and everything, you're going to be taking out the trash. This guy is saying that me and him should do a redneck brawl, but uh, I don't do redneck brawls, brother. You're going to have to pay me a good amount of money to get in the ring because I don't hey, do it Robert. for free. Robert? I positively no Team Andy. So, hey, I'm not. Don't you say shit about Team Andy. You ain't got a team. Who team are you? Team Andy is shit. Who are you? I mean, how that how that uh, brother of yours uh, get on your skin. We yeah. saw how angry you got. How tempted that you want to beat and bludgeon him. <sighs> He's going to get what's coming to him. Or that comes sooner or later. You know, that sounds like you're making a thinly veiled threat. Maybe. Maybe not. Sounds like uh, you're insinuating that you ain't going to do it yourself. I just hope he took notes that uh, his le- his team leader got uh, knocked out on the floor out there with slobbering on the floor. There was slobber all over the floor. Johnny was just out cold taking it. A- I wasn't knocked out. I wasn't slobbering either. And that was Johnny last week. I just want you to know, if I win, I'm going to be making you take out the trash. Can be your worst nightmare. Bow me. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, no. Somebody, please come save me from Robert. Robert. Robert said, can be your worst nightmare. Bow moment. Also. Joshua is on my team. You want box? Talk a lot of shit and won't back it up. Team John. What's that say? Clown? Is that supposed to say clown now? She's supposed, supposed to, to say it's, calm. It's yeah. Oh. It, it, it's okay because yeah. Mary, Mary means well. Mary means well. I won't calm Mary down. Well. They've been conspiring against me for a week now. I'm not conspiring. Not I just, you. I'm just yes, speaking Andy. facts. Look at that. Team Andy, team money. He no, knows it. Team shitty. Team money. That's what he just put in the comments. Team shitty. You know, you take Andy's name, you take, you remove that and, and you put shit in front of it, and it's team shitty. Andy, can you believe That's this guy? That's not very just original. All, he, can you believe I even let this guy on the podcast tonight? Can you believe? Can you believe I let him? Can you believe that you suck? John, you're gonna know. We will watch brands. Two pieces. Just personally messaged me and said, uh, "Team hashtag Team Sean." So she's not picking sides. So uh, she's my friend. What? Hey, what's going on, Andy? I'm not gonna attack John. That's what I'm saying, Caitlin. You ain't gonna do nothing, Robert. Said it from your own kind, your own relation. Shout out to Kate. Uh, yeah. I just want everyone to know that chooses Team Andy. When I get everything back, you're gonna see a side of me that you uh, didn't want to bring out. Robert, you say that uh, you run with champ or you run with uh, winners only, but uh, it looks like I got a belt, a vest, my a belt. Pair of- a pair of three thousand dollars sunglasses says "Be Money." There is no Team Sean. And oh, Andy, why you gotta hate, brother? But there's this guy over here with a Dollar Tree shirt that he had to fight off a homeless man. Couldn't even go in the Dollar Dollar Tree to even buy the shirt. He bought it. And then he's got these fucking John Cena shorts on. You yeah. can't see me. Hey, I'm wearing George Stone. Don't, don't hate. Sean Johns, shut what your is, damn mouth. What is this Team Sean I'm hearing? And what did Andy say about uh, Team Sean? He said Sean? there is no. A stolen belt. That's right, Robert. That's right. This ain't stolen. It says B. It is stolen. It says B Money on it. Sean I'm saying it's carved out. You took B, my B damn money. plate off of it. That's what happened. Back up, fool. I don't know if you see any. Uh, and, okay, Josh Thompson's picking Team John. What's but a- Caitlin messaged me says, 
She's hashtag Team Sean. You deserve your own yeah. team. She's just personal. My hashtag. hair is still better than you be phonies. What I hair? You bald ass. I can respect her opinion, but as long as she's not siding with this fool right here, this bum, don't even like John. Really? The only bum that I see is a man that took the money that Andy offered him and kissed his ass. There's no Team Sean. Sean is a referee. He has no dogs in this fight. Unless he chooses. There is Sean, team. Unless he, unless Thank he, you, Mary. But like I said, chooses. I'm my own team. Who messy? Oh, we only got like a minute left. That's right. Who wants to say their goodbyes first? Because I ain't. You go first. Why don't you go first, John? You go first, John. Say your goodbyes and walk out and go clean that fucking toilet out there. I just messed that up, too. You might want to bring some gloves. I had to shit. I just want to thank you to everyone that believed in me. No one does. And anyone that didn't believe in me. Because I've been paying attention to what you've been saying. Don't forget. Because whenever I do beat Andy's ass. And I will find a way to win. I'm getting that back. I'm getting that back. I'm getting my secret hat back. And I will no longer act the way I used to. Because there's a side of me that all of them are beginning to make me want to just go back to. I've been nice up to this point. I want to thank all the fans that have actually tuned in that had my back. Do you the man. Apartment Cam can go to hell. What? Hey, that's... You shut your mouth, because right now, it's my goodbye. I just want to say, stay nice. And always remember, just because I'm John right now, don't mean that I need a coat, a belt, a hat, pants to make the man. The man makes the coat, the belt, the hat, and the pants. Just remember that. Sean Jones. All right. Everybody in the comments, do. I called Andy. You and your yacht take care of business up in Michigan with Icon Lee. Uh, how's your throat feel from deep throat and Icon? That's what you've been doing. Anyways, that is not a way uh, to speak about the boss. And so I, does this mean you're choosing Johnny's side? I'm not picking sides. You're both wrong. They're both wrong. I'm not picking sides, but I know what I see. Calls it likes I sees it. Maverick, you just love to stir the pot, don't you? And you've had it for Johnny since day one, since he got on this podcast. Maverick, you are an absolute legend, brother. I don't care what Sean or Johnny says oh, about you. He'll turn on you in a moment's notice. He, he is an acquired taste, you know, of success. Yeah, okay. I will say this. Be money, you're here. Thank God. I've never had a problem with you, and I'd like to keep it that way. I'm kind of fed up with everybody here. I'm not picking sides. I will be official. May the best man win. Everybody stay nice. All right. Uh, just want to say a couple things on here. Andy, if you're watching this, I am so appreciative of the opportunity you have given me and given me this nice belt, this vest, and I don't care what none of these John crybabies say about me or you or our team, but it's the only team to choose if you want to succeed. Want tacos, I want tacos. tacos. But yeah. Josh says, when you win, I want tacos. Stay nice. Stay nice. Be money out. All right. Sean Jones. I'm going to end this on our catchphrase. I'm not taking that. He's, he's not here. John I don't care. Him. I'm not taking it. You don't have to Anyways. I'm going to end a f phrase with the lines. If you ain't having fun, you ain't, you ain't getting, getting none. You damn skippy. Yeet, yeet. Come on, guys. One last time. Nice guy. Andy Podcast. Don't face the Records Radio. Ooh, yeah! Watch the nice guy in the podcast. But those were expensive, too. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm telling you now, meditate, elevate, and dominate. Do it with a nice guy in your You gotta go on your little Hell yeah. Thanks, man. bullshit podcast. That ain't what your mama said.